Here's your Storm Tracker weather forecast with Chief Forecaster Bob McGuire. That's right, and good evening, everybody. We're going to start off tonight with this beautiful picture from Ron Salyer. Look, just look at these guys settle with it against that pink sky in the background. Cool looking shot there, huh? He says they're bulls. I, I'll agree with him. There you go. Here, here's a nice looking shot tonight from Tina Marie McIntosh. I don't know if any relation to Ed or not, but anyway, cool looking picture from Shepard. This was that big thunderstorm that was moving into the Billings area earlier on, just kind of fell apart, but we still had some cloudy skies just as the sun was setting. Here's another shot out from John Ojeda. Cool looking picture there, John. I like the way it's in the, the ditch there, kind of highlighted there. Just nice. That's what we had. A lot of people were sending us pictures of that. Really nice looking stuff tonight. Thanks for sending that in, everybody. Meanwhile, here's what's happening in Billings right now. That storm has moved on. We have 70 degrees and a northeast wind at about 8 miles per hour. I reported high today. Actually got up to 82. Here's your normal high 89. The record was 98 back in 2011. Record low was 48 back in 2005. And what about precipitation? Well, that storm came to us, but it just fell apart. So nothing new to add to the totals today for the month. We're at 2600. So need to be at 111 on the year. We're at 1454. Still ahead of normal. Only need to be at 909. And as you can see here, our current temps around the state, mostly into the 60s and 70s out west back here in the east. A little bit cooler into the 60s. So what has happened, the cold air has come down from Canada and started to slide in towards the eastern edge of the state. It didn't make it over here in the western part of Montana. But hey, those that got it had some nice, cool 60s and 70s. In fact, let's take a look at our reported highs. Missoula got up to 92 today. A lot of upper 80s out in the west. Everyone else kind of into the 70s, some 80s. It felt pretty nice back here in eastern Montana. Now you'll notice here tonight our thunderstorm outlook still shows the isolated showers moving through. We do have a severe thunderstorm out here, but I think that's the only one we have, and I think it's going to fall apart before it gets to the Billings area. Let's take a look at it. Here it is. It made its way through Great Falls. That has a severe thunderstorm warning until 1045, and that whole thing will continue to track this way and eventually make its way into the Billings area. But I think by the time it gets here, it'll be just a shadow of what it is right now. What we see here is high pressure over the four corner states, and that's taking all this monsoonal moisture and pushing it in. It was up into Montana. Now it's kind of turning the corner and moving in towards central Wyoming tonight. So at the surface, the big story, the headline story, is the cold air pouring down out of Canada. It's pushing up against the mountains for us, but now more importantly, it's pushing its way down in towards the central plains. It's been very hot here, 90s and hundreds, millions of people overheated, and that cool air is pushing down from Canada and making its way towards Oklahoma, Texas, and Kansas tonight. Good news for those. But us, we've got the cool air pushing up against that stationary front, Warm air here and the two are mixing and just kind of move up and get some big showers and thunderstorms developing. That's why we have one over there by Great Falls tonight. And so you'll notice these showers continue to stay right along that state line throughout most of Thursday. And again on Friday, you'll see the same thing. Maybe some more cool air moving in, but most of these showers will not be severe. They're just going to be kind of strong for a change. Now tonight our temps will cool back down into the 50s out in the west. Back here in eastern Montana, again, mostly into the 40s and 50s here. Maybe a couple of scattered showers later tonight along the state line with Wyoming. Then for tomorrow, back to the 70s, some 80s. In the far west, it'll be the upper 80s like in Missoula. And out here, we're looking at a lot of showers and thunderstorms in that area. But tonight in Billings, it'll be partly cloudy, 58 degrees with a northeast wind at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Next seven days, we're going to be kind of cool, 70s and 80s with a chance of rain on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. By Sunday, we start to dry up and the temperatures start to go up into the 80s and some low 90s. Let's go back to Janelle.